Welcome back to the final episode of Terra Nil. My name is Nilaus and we are almost done with the this game. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I mentioned a few times, I wish it was longer, but uh, it's been a good journey and uh, let's not discount that. I'd rather have a good short journey than a long and tedious one. <clears throat> I'm talking to you, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, uh, we are going to go in here, irradiated sprawl, that sounds exactly like the place we want to go, and uh, we could be somewhere that we've been left behind after a factory run, but, uh, well, let's see if we can uh, terraform that into something, a nice, lush, uh, yeah, what is it called? Lagoon? Bamboo forest? Sunflowers? Deciduous forest? Let's see how we can terraform this. Alright, here we are. Continental. Restoring urban areas presents its own unique set of challenges. You'll need to work around the existing concrete when dredging the ocean floor to create land on which to grow plants. Former cities can also be the home to particularly hazardous materials. To begin with, dredge the ocean floor to create land to grow greenery. Once dredging is complete, recycle your dredges. You can then place tidal turbines in the resulting pockets of water. I don't think that's... Nope, that's not how it is here. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at what we have. We have a lot of toxic and let's have a look here. We have need to get the radiation down before we get temperature up. We need to get uh, moisture up before we get temperature up. And then as, after we get those three, then we're just going to go there. So we have money and I'm going to start by making uh, use of that mo of, of set money to uh, start pushing back the toxicity. There we go. That's a good start. Uh, that's a really good start as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's definitely pushing it all the way out here too. Oh, come on. Oh, well. And let's see. Can I go... I can go here. Or that can go there. I think that's better. This one's probably good. Just to push it back here. Yes, it cleaned out the whole thing. We don't have this Helio thing. Uh, we have the usual, all the different ways of manipulating the environment and that should get us up here yes okay this is good we have only one little tile back there and from this part i think i'll also be building on this side and trying to push back here and there is a little bit down there We'll do this part and then I'll do that part. So now we've cleaned out everything except that one, except that single one. Let's uh, go on to the next. Yeah, let's uh, try that one and figure out how to remove it. I think I'll build it here. Okay, we'll start by getting a little thing here and moving forward. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. So it kind of bulges out in waves. Uh, that should take care of everything over here. Alright, and we now need definitely some forward progress on this side. Let's see. Uh, there's a little bit of green here. Let's push that green away. And now... Hmm. That's a little bit of a challenge. If I build it here, then I can actually build one here that will get out. And I'm going to spend more money on this than I need. I don't know. I, mm, let's get this. Come on. You can... Ah, it's so close. This one is in radiation. Okay. And okay, so we leave one side alone here and also a little bit of Let's do oops. We don't have any money. Okay, I guess uh, we have to figure out how to get more money and one way is oh look at that That's good. Yeah, so we can get those by taking the ocean easily uh, That one I'd like to be able to build definitely Can I get a power pole? Yes, and then That's a good one now, I think this is a good location. We want to sort of try to find locations here. That's a good one, I think. 
All right, so we have a little bit of money to continue our uh, de-irradiation, I guess. That one gets a lot of radi radiation. Irradiation gone. Uh, we definitely need something over here because there's a little bit left. Uh, maybe I want to build another power pole over here because we do need to power that area. Get that side going. What about over here? Yes, definitely. Oh, it has to be going all the way up to the edge, right? Yes, it does go up to the edge. And now we can oops, push forward with another power pole. That gets... I want to get all the way to the edge because we can always just add more in here if we need it. And let's get a power pole here. Let's see, where do we have some... We do have a little pocket of toxicity here. And then maybe this one. And I do want... Oh, we got kelp forest. Ooh, that's amazing. I do want to go like all the way over and remove all the toxicity we can. Even though it isn't technically necessary. There we go. This feels good. We got rid of pretty much all but two tiles of uh, toxicity. So that was the first objective. Now we need to continue on sort of uh, spreading out and getting more of this. And I think if we look at how little I actually have, then I think I have to be really diligent on getting as much as possible. So again, I have to build one here, which means build a power pole here. Get that out there. That's a great place. That's probably okay place. Um, get another one of these out here. Okay, it doesn't get much, but it does get a little bit. That's also great. So getting a lot of the ocean tiles covered immediately is probably very good. There, and that's a good one. Oh, this is interesting. Can I build... I can probably build something here. Oh, this is brilliant. Look how look how much space we get. Uh, those are the only conditions there. All right, there was, that's a lot with only this part. Uh, let's see. So here is pretty clearly also a good option. And this is probably going to be... That is okay, I guess. I can also do guess that's okay. I can't move it one side in. Not as good. There. Okay, we got to 61%. And I'm really just keen on the ocean tiles, though. Because ocean tiles get converted immediately. There. And... Oh, no. It's not very good. I can power that over here. And get this one. Yes. All right. Um, that take care of some of the ocean. Anything over here? Ocean tiles I can take care of. That one. Any ocean tiles I can place it. Oh, there I can place it. Sweet. What about here? Nah, this is better. What about on this side? I'd really want to get something up here maybe. Yes. Okay, they're, as long as they're positive, then it's worthwhile. This is not positive, but it's still worthwhile. And let's try to get that's a good one. All right, we are. I think we'll get it. I mean, of course, we'll get it, but still 96. That's a really nice chunk here. It is also pretty obvious how much we have to focus on the ocean to get anywhere, any progress here. Um, that. 57 we're at 91% it's actually a little bit difficult to find the rest of it to be honest there's a little bit wow oh right this look this location is completely idle all right let's chop that and oh this I think this is what we were looking for that one and then oops undo love that undo fun function the fact that a uh, game earlier on initial release has undo. I love it. We're at 95. Okay. Uh, maybe here is another option. Yes. That's a lot of ocean we've actually cleaned out. Let's get a little more in here. Uh, minus 2. But it's something. It gets us to 99%. And then uh, maybe over in here we can get the last bits. Maybe this part. 
Yeah, there's an 11 pot here. What about going... Yeah, we'll take that. That goes to 102. All right, first milestone completed. Great. So, dredging may have uh, made the ground unstable. No, not really. Nevertheless, increased biodiversity by creating enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves uh, in the shell of the skyscrapers used the roots of new deciduous forest to break the concrete. I will do that. Now, here is a thing. We need to go in here. We have uh, the radiation under control completely. Uh, so we need to make sure that we get moisture or humidity <laughs> uh, up here to 50 as the next thing. But is there something that doesn't like too much moisture? You, Helio Cage, you like moisture. So let's get that up. Is there something else that doesn't like moisture? Nope. Uh, this one? Yeah, this one doesn't like moisture too much. So let's throw down the bamboo forest. And here is the most important thing. You must, must, must have one of these leave left empty. One, two, three four five one of them must be empty because that has to be uh, uh, converted into an empty hoppy nest that's crazy and you once you make the mistake you cannot unmake that mistake uh, this is interesting it seems like i could get a lot more out of this so this oh yes all right we're getting good progress here this is also definitely a thing. Oh, yes. All right. So bamboo forest is done. Let's, uh, that's the one that was sort of on the low end of humidity. Anyone else susceptible to humidity? This one would like more humidity. So let's bump the humidity before doing anything else. How is this? Oh, that's the, oh, mineralizer. Okay. Uh, it's actually the humidifier I was looking for. That's 10 fat stacks here. Wildflower. Perfect. Let's get those seven here. And 12 here. It shouldn't be too difficult to get all this. There's a lot of water around here. We'll take those five. That's 50. Okay, so now we can have a look. We got to 50. So that means we can now start increasing temperature. Now everything else is increasing temperature and increasing humidity. We need to make sure that this, the helio cage, is in a safe space. And then in the ideal, uh, that means the helio cages is here. Big one. That one, it's getting a little bit. All right, almost done, good. And then I'm gonna get the last one here. All right, so that's the sunflowers done. Now we need to work on the lagoons and the deciduous forest. Right, <clears throat> um, the deciduous forest needs more temperature and the lagoon needs more temperature. All right, let's uh, scorch some plains. That's this one. That seems like a great place to scorch. There we go. Fireflies are coming in with five temperature and we need to get up to 25. So keep scorching. I'll keep scorching here in the middle, I think. Like that. That's a good scorch because it's easier to reprogress this part. There we go. And three, three, two, three. It gets us to 18. That's good. What about over here? It's another three. Can we get more than three? Eh, not really. Three. Okay, I think three it is for this part. Maybe we're actually in a point where the... Oh my god, I, I just... Wow, that was such a narrow band. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That kind of felt bad. I'll get this one. I'll get some stuff here as well. That's good. And this is probably good. Getting money and all that stuff. Nice grasslands. Okay. So we missed this part. Uh, these are mainly along the edge, which is not great locations here. I can't believe we missed this. That's a good one. Um, that's a great one, actually. Oh, yeah. And it eat, also eats concrete. So if I want to eat some concrete here in the middle, that's a pretty good place to eat it. Eat some concrete. Yummy. Look at that. Bad forest. And that got completed. Perfect. Now, lagoons. 
too large, and I think it's because they're connected. So if I if I sort of put the mineralizer here and here, then I'm gonna check. Oh, still too large. Are you kidding me? Hmm. What about now? This one works. All right. Uh, here. This one probably too large. But if I do this, maybe. Oh, that's perfect. That is a great base in here. And I'm going to cut that off and see if I can beat this. And we got everything. All right. We, that was pretty That was pretty simple. Now, as your final step, you'll need to finish recycling the city, reintroduce animals, and construct an interstellar rocket on which to leave. Use sunlight scans to gather seeds from all over the planet and store them in the planet rocket's vault. Finally, place the guidebook in the cockpit and leave the the restored world behind. All right, so we have a lot of stuff to do here. Look at that. We actually do not have uh, the rocket in this time. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's focus first on the, this part. Because there is one that's always the hardest. The Harpy Eagle is the hardest. And if I don't get that, I have to restart it. And that's really miserable. So I need to make sure that this is in the range of piggies. And in the range of here. So that would be, we need to get the piggies. The piggies need greeneries and the city of forest, which is perfectly right here. Yes. And then you need to scan this area. And we got it. Okay. Those are the difficult ones. Sea otters. I think they just, no, that's not a lake. Oh, it was actually cool. The turtle just need a, what, what do you need? What do you need, my friend? Jantagoon. You just need a dying lagoon. You just need green green uh, fields. Good. The panda, monochromatic panda. Uh, you need bamboo and that. So you can be right next to here. And that's outdated. You're outdated. Hmm. Here. Not enough bamboo. Oh, 20 tiles. Oh, okay. Just get a little bit closer. All right. Why is that outdated? Okay. Then let's try this path. That's a giant bamboo forest. There we go. All six out of six. We're still not done with this part. We need to increase the temperature and we need to increase the vegetation. Uh, or the rain. So let's uh, make sure that we get that first. Because we need to get all of it. Thirteen. I just want to make sure that we got all of those options done. Eighty-nine. And there. Alright. That's a massive boon here. Whoa. Did that... Did that not do anything? 89? Okay. Just get that one. Cool. And now temperature needs to go a little bit up. 5 degrees. Perfect. Everything done. Everything done. And the rain is coming in and refertilizing this area. Brilliant. Now we can start on the deconstruction and the evacuation of this area. We're going to get here. And we're going to get this as a thing. And, you know, the, the, the funny thing here is that it should actually be really simple to do that here. And we'll just get that comes back to this location. That come back. And if I harvest this, it won't get all of it. So I'll just get another one over here. Which I'll then start by deconstructing. Um, you come down here. And then get into this location, which I'll then immediately deconstruct. That's fine. And anything that's sort of... Okay, it's, it's actually connected to this one yet. So that's fine. I'll keep pushing it forward. Here. And then I need to grab the stuff up there. Deconstruct that. Before we can remove this entirely. I don't even think we can. I'll get that. Oh, I should be holding shift for this. There. Does that work to get this? Nope. Not all of it. Uh, so, here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, never mind. Not so interesting. There. That gets gone. And... Just trying to make sure we have... Right, so if we have an infinite amount of money, pretty much. I don't really need to be so careful about 
when and where and how I spilled, spent this. And now we can just start deconstructing it. There. And this one? Sure. This one's also out. And I'm pretty sure that's not correct. This. There. I'll also be increasing the vehicle speed because, well, obviously we need it. And then we'll just start cleaning out from around here. Uh, this is no longer connected. This is not connected, but it's connected that way. Okay, so I need to clean out from this side. This part and this part. Uh, how are we not getting this, this one up here? All right, I'll do it this way. And then clean it out. This needs to be going. And you can go here. Here. And I'm pretty sure this one will take the rest. Yes. Of this area. You're gone. Hey, look at that. It's making progress. I can do that because they're coming in sequence. That's taken. This one's the next one. That's taken. That's taken. And then we're just checking that we will get everything by the taking this. Yes, we do. So these two are done. That. And then we just uh, finish up the rest. We got, uh, we're got. we working again on 100% uh, completion of all of this. That's done. That's done. And when that one's done, then we don't even need to launch the rocket here. So I guess that's just going to be the wrapping up of uh, this series, this game even, uh, with 100%. It's very rare that I do 100% on uh, on any game. Oh, well, look at that. Will you look at that? What are we having here that is not... Uh... Yeah, now that... I don't know what that was, but... There we go. It's gone now. Oof. And we will be leaving this world behind. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining on this uh, playthrough of Tyranil. I really enjoyed this game. It was a nice, casual experience. Uh, I think the length of the game was actually okay, but the price was too high for the for the uh, uh, for for the length of game. But the length of the game was fine. I mean, eight hours of fun is uh, is okay for a small indie game, but it's not really. Yeah, you know, we talked about it. I enjoyed it. It was good. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you have, of course. Make sure you hit the like button and then stay tuned to the channel with the, by subscribing so you can see what else is coming up. We'll definitely have new things coming up after Easter. Tons of interesting game coming. And then there's always a lot of other games that are sort of, well, you never really know. And I just want to see if there was anything going on here when you get to 100%. And then it's just, well, that's 100%. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.